Good morning, YouTube. All right, so my last video, you guys liked it. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Just did some bluegill fishing. It was fun, some small bluegill. Um, the place I'm going I know has bigger bluegill. I've seen a lot bigger ones there. Um, but it's also, it's a nice day. It's a somewhat nice day to go bass fishing too. So I'm gonna go out, try to get some bass, and if I don't, then we'll go after some bluegill. Either way, I'm probably gonna fish for some bluegill because that was fun. But I brought some bread with me because, again, in the last video, it seemed, they seemed to like it. Um, I did buy like a little tackle box before the last video that had like little like fake worms and grubs and stuff in it. And I don't know, they just, they didn't love it. So um, they love the bread. And so we're gonna try the bread. Yeah, stay tuned and let's catch some fish. Okay, so I'm trying something a little different. I got the GoPro up and uh, usually I have it on my chest, right? So I got it on the uh, uh, tripod this time, but there is a lot of bluegill here or a lot of panfish of some kind. Um, so I put this little, it's a little long, but I think it'll work a little bit better in the last video. And then I got a little bit of bread left. Just nature owns honey wheat. They liked it last time. So we're gonna put some of this on and see if we can't get some what I think I think they're pretty good size out here from where I can see they they look good so we're also using the uh, Zebco the like crappie fighter is what it's called uh, pretty fun little I think it's like five foot little rod uh, yeah we'll see what we can do all right so all you're gonna do is really just take the bread I mash into a ball it stays on pretty good if there's smaller ones out there then they tend to like nibble at it nibble away at it but bigger ones will just take it whole but just a, just a little ball on there. Before I throw this, I'm gonna toss a few small pieces just to kind of chum the water up some. See if they like it, which I'm really hoping they do. I was gonna start out with some bass fishing, but I came out here and there's three or four different groups of good sized bluegill. So we're gonna, we're gonna see what, uh, what they like and what they don't like. Hopefully they like this bread. Also, tell me, uh, Tell me what you guys think about if you like the tripod setup. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow it over. I don't think it will, but it's a little, yeah, I don't know. But tell me if you like the uh, the first person view better, or if you like the tripod third person view better. Let me know. Oh, came up a little bit short. That's okay. Oh, big boy's got it. Oh, he's got it. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Oh, oh man! Yeah, that's, that was perfect. Check this bad boy out. I, they started hitting all that that bread that I threw out. And, uh, he saw mine. I threw mine a little bit short. Oh, he's gonna flop! Don't flop! I threw mine a little bit short, and he swam to it, snacked it up, snacked it up, snapped it up. Anyways, he ate it up pretty quick. Let me get this little hook out. There we go. See, I just loaded the hook with a little bit more bread. I'll even lift this one. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, this one looks like, I mean, there's a lot of different panfish and stuff. This one just looks like a, it's just a classic bluegill. Nothing too crazy. He's pretty, he's a little thin, but he's good size. He's fun to catch. He, again, he, he attacked that hook, no hesitation at all, but we'll get him back in the water and that'll be fish number one. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm spitting a little bit. <laughs> it probably sounds kind of nasty, but I'm spitting a little bit and it's, Little thing of bread, and then I'm just rolling it. I'm almost like like rolling it like a dough. And then I'll just put it on the hook here. Hopefully, it's compact enough to stay on. Oh, 
just missed him. Oh my. That's what sucks. I yanked a little bit too hard. I just missed one. Whole clump of bread just came right off. I guess just I'm really just sending it down quick. Let it fall about as fast as I can. They're kind of starting to hit it on the way down, but it gets real deep first. Ah, oh, like that. Ooh, that one's pretty. Pretty, pretty. Ooh. It's another good size one. So yeah, so I had to let them, instead of trying to yank, that bread keeps coming off every time I yank it, so. I just said to heck with that, let it fall and let him completely take it. The bread came off, but the hook was still in his mouth, which I guess is a good thing for me. Been catching him a little bit slower than I'd like, but. That one's still really pretty. Ooh, almost lost him. He's a little bit smaller than the other one, but he's got some nice, pretty little stripes on him. I'm gonna take a picture. I forgot to take a picture last time. All right, good pictures for the Instagram at Thomas Hubbard Fishing. If you don't follow me, and we'll put him back. So yeah, that's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty good strategy. You're not really setting the hook, you're letting them, I mean, of course it's a lot different than bass fishing. So you're not out there ripping lips, you know, but you just gotta let them, if they take all the bread, then they take all the bread. All right, well. Probably slow down quite a bit. We got two and oh, I don't know, 25 minutes or so. So wasn't bad. And that that bread is so dry, a little bit drier than I thought it was. Uh, it makes it kind of hard to on, but I'm thinking, yeah, like it's crumbling away. Um, it's such a nice day, and it's also a little windy, so I'm trying to get out of the wind. I think I'm going to set my hammock up, hang out for a little bit, and then I might try some bass fishing. See, we can't catch any big ones. We're getting kicked out. What a shame. Now, they are doing some construction over there. They said they're about to start working on this pond for something. I don't really know what they're doing. But uh, they're closing the whole place down, so sadly no bass fishing today, which, because I was hanging out in my hammock, about to get back up and uh, put on, I got a new, I'll just show you right here. I got this new little spinner bait, it's, uh, I think it's, yeah, it's Guggen Squad, uh, came in the uh, mystery box, the advent calendar thing I did. Um, I unboxed. I don't know. I don't think I showed you guys that one. Um, but if you haven't seen that video, my review on it, uh, go check it out. I'll link in the description or something. Um, but that was really fun. But yeah, we don't get to do any bass fishing today, but we caught a couple little bluegill. So all in all, it wasn't too bad, but I guess I'm going to pack up and uh, I'll see you next time.